for training the two other countries they develop a bond which necessarily may in our context may not be helpful unless the relationship moves to a point of that level of confidence right. is uh, achieved between the two countries. The level of confidence. Just, uh, uh, Ambassador Kajo, does Pakistan have anything to worry about by us training the army, the points that's being raised there? and They are accusing us of, of being non-cooperative in Afghanistan. No, I see no reason for any concern in Islamabad or Rawal Pindi uh, because of the strategic uh, agreement that has been reached between India and Afghanistan. There has been a long tradition of training of Afghan armed forces, but if one takes the specific context of the present uh, Afghan National Army, it has been trained mainly by the West. Mm -hmm. We've had no role in it, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, except for uh, a little bit of training. I'm happy that now that training process will be upgraded. After all, we have a direct relationship with Afghanistan. That relationship is not directed against any third country. Mm -hmm. And if a third country has illusions, well, we cannot help it. Illusions. Would you say, uh, General Masood, uh, uh, how would you respond to that? That uh, uh, training the uh, Afghan army is probably just a drop in the ocean in comparison to what the West has done, that is India training the army. Well, that is true, but I believe that uh, the uh, government of Afghanistan and the Afghan army leadership is thinking more in terms of sending their officers to India and uh, by and large uh, this development obviously uh, unless the relationship between India and Pakistan totally normalizes uh, would be looked at with suspicion so I think you have to uh, understand the sensitivities that exist I mean in the sense that as it is we don't feel that the present uh, Afghan army right. is uh, uh, somewhat uh, better disposed towards Pakistan and if it is also trained in that way mm -hmm. and our relations with, do not uh, continue to improve yep. then uh, the, day, uh, the concerns will increase. I just come to you Ambassador, I just want to uh, join on the phone line by Brigadier uh, Gurmeet Kamal, Director Center for Land Warfare Studies. Uh, Brigadier Kamal, uh, thanks for joining us. I believe some technical problems, so that's why we're joining you on the phone line there. Uh, this, so, uh, ratcheting up in a sense from where India was in terms of training the Afghan army, what are your, your thoughts on that? The Afghan army at present is ill-trained, poorly equipped and badly led. Particularly the standards of junior leadership need to be upgraded by an order of magnitude. And if they were to be trained by India, the results would be much better than the results that have been achieved by training through NATO and ISAF groups. And the ideal, in my view, would be to get there on the ground and train them in large numbers, a battalion at a time, so that the training is cohesive and carried out systematically. That would involve putting some troops on the ground for local protection. So it's a million dollar question whether the Indian government would be willing to take that risk or not. Right, Bigger Karmal. In fact, uh, so far, the, what we know is that India is avoiding sending training teams to Afghanistan because of the vulnerability of attacks, but there's going to be a rapid expansion in terms of uh, platoon level and company level training, maybe at specialized institution, institutions like the Commander School in Belgaum and the Counterinsurgency Jungle Warfare School in Mizoram, as well as High Altitude Warfare School in Sonamarg. But uh, we just had General Talat Masood. He is still with us from Islamabad. The, Voicing Pakistan's concerns on uh, this, what are your thoughts on that, Brigadier Kamal? Pakistan's concerns are genuine. If case, in case Indian troops are there in Afghanistan, the concerns are genuine. That is why my suggestion is that Indian troops for training should be sent to the north, to mazar sharif or to the west, to Herat, well away from Pakistan's border. That will address Pakistan's concerns to a very large extent. Again, uh, your thoughts uh, quickly before I let you go. Uh, negotiations are still stuck on an Afghan wish list, which includes a supply of tanks, artillery guns and ammunition. Do you think we should go that far? We should give them everything that they ask for. We failed to do that in Sri Lanka and we drove the Sri Lankans into the arms of the Chinese. Similarly, we failed to do that for Myanmar and we drove Myanmar into the arms of the Chinese. Now we are trying to woo them back. We should give the Afghans every single item of military hardware that they asked for. Right, uh, Brigadier Kamal, thanks for joining us. Uh, would have liked uh, to have uh, contacted you visually, but there was a technical problem there. The Director of Center for Land and Warfare Studies. Uh, Admiral, uh, Ambassador Kaju, you wanted to make a point, I think, earlier. Yes. Uh, 
I think uh, the point being made in, in Islamabad is that we should show sensitivities to their concerns because of improvement in our ties with Pakistan. Now this is strange. Mm. Uh, Pakistan for tactical reasons mm. is, uh, has taken certain steps. Mm. There is no evidence of a change in, in strategy or mm. a change in strategic thinking. Okay. I just have to interrupt you because I'm going to lose the Islamabad link, so I just want to quickly go to uh, General Atal Masood. Uh, you were talking about um, training of the army, but on another hand, uh, we've seen some movement, whether it's step by step in terms of India and Pakistan uh, trade relations, MFN status, uh, other things that are moving along pretty well. Do you think that uh, this will be an impediment to that, the larger question of Indo-Pak talks? Uh, General Masood, you have, I think, about 30 seconds before we lose you. Well, I think, um, you know, there are still some very strong resistance uh, both in India and Pakistan against these, uh, this forward movement, which I think majority of the people, though, welcome it in Pakistan as well as I hope in India too. But um, with this sort of developments, then these uh, forces become more uh, vocal and become uh, very, it becomes very difficult uh, for the government to then proceed uh, on the peace process. So I think we have to take this into consideration to what extent India wants to get involved in Afghanistan, especially uh, with uh, this sort of a relationship which is rather fragile at the moment, but moving in the right direction. Right, moving in the right direction, Lieutenant General Talat Masood. I do believe we'll lose that line there with you in Islamabad soon. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a pleasure as usual. I just want to, uh, before I come to you, Ambassador, get in some views or questions from the audience. Uh, I think some people had some questions here. Yeah. Uh, recently, Mr. Karzai made a statement that if, Afghani, uh, if Pakistan ever uh, went to a war, we would support Pakistan no matter what, who the opposition is. In that context, how much this strategic partnership would benefit India? I just want to clarify that that is, uh, has been a very controversial uh, statement, but it was probably taken out of context. It was an interview to Geo Television in Pakistan, yeah. and if you look at the whole transcript, there was only this part was picked up by the media again. Uh, the whole transcript of uh, his uh, interview, he talks about 95 percent is about Pakistan, how Pakistan has to stop terror, how Pakistan is a brother but should not be stabbing its own brother. So that has probably been taken out of context but uh, you are free to add to that Ambassador. No, I, I gen generally agree with you. Uh, in any relationship with another country, we've got to take our interests into account. Mm -hmm. And naturally, while uh, we have a strategic partnership with, uh, with many countries including Afghanistan, we've got to be careful. And we always have to consider the totality of the situation. So the point you've made is valid. We will have to monitor President Karzai. He has a track record and we should monitor it. <laughs> I don't think you'll say anything more. Uh, some other questions? Uh, with uh, 2014 approaching very soon, uh, it's high time that the regional players in South Asia start taking a much, uh, start playing a better role in, in Afghanistan. Sure. So given that fact, I think uh, India is at a very, uh, is, is at the best position to uh, take a better